Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Hi there Batty fans, it's time for a Batty Boffin maths video on the subject of symmetry. Now we can see here some of the snowflakes that I'm sure you've seen before, but these ones are a little different. The snowflakes that people normally make come out something like this, with symmetry four ways. So we've got a vertical line, a horizontal and two diagonal lines. But you may well know that snowflakes don't actually look like this. Snowflakes have six-fold symmetry like this. They look more like hexagons than squares or octagons. The reason for that, incidentally, if you want to know, is the shape of the water molecule. That's a water molecule. It looks a little bit like Shrek. And this angle here is around about 120 degrees, which fits just nicely six times around the center, which is why you get this six-pointed kind of thing. So here is how to make a six pointed star. You're going to start off with your normal sheet of paper, okay? I'm using A4, letter size works perfectly well if you're in America, and we're going to start off same as normal. We're folding it in half and in half again, and then here's where it changes. Instead of folding it in half like you would normally, we're going to fold it into thirds. So first thing to do is to note that this is the corner where all the corners meet, and all of your corners have got to meet there as well. So we're going to fold one side over such that these two pieces are about the same. Well, in fact, as much the same as you can get them. So these two need to be the same. And then when we fold the other one behind, what we get is a triple fold there. Okay? So that's a triple fold. So we're not folding it in half like we normally would. We're folding it into thirds. I've drawn one with the lines on. So here's my paper folded into quarters. And what I'm going to do is fold one side up so that this part and this part are the same angle. And then I can fold the other one behind. It's important that all of your folds meet at one point. I'll just unfold it so you can see what we've got on here. So here we've got our original quarter folds here and here, and then two extra folds for our thirds. So when you've done that, you will end up with something that looks a bit like that. Then we can cut off the bit that doesn't go all the way through. So this lower line here, that hasn't got all the layers above it, so I'm just going to cut off there. And that, incidentally, if you ever want to make a nice hexagon, folds out to a perfect hexagon. So then, we can start cutting. And here's one in best blue beta tradition that I made earlier. So this is my one that I cut here. Lots of bits cut out. Let's see what it looks like. So you can make these look a bit like stars or hearts. I've done some nice kind of hearty ones there. Make nicer, perhaps Valentine's doyle is going on there. Another hearty one over here. I like these ones. So here is my six pointed snowflake. Let's just see what that looks like. There we go. That's rather fetching, isn't it? So six sided snowflakes. Just a quick recap. We fold it into quarters fold up one side so that these two parts are equal, making sure that all of the folds meet in the centre, not at the edges. So these should all be the loose ones over here and all the folds down here. And then we fold it into thirds. So have a bit of fun with that. Decorate your house with scientifically, mathematically correct snowflakes. I'll see you next time, Batty fans. <laughs> Ha 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 